Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. We were now going to be looking at partitioning this entire uh, equation with matrices. So, the first thing I want to show you is that we have 5 and minus 10 corresponding to unknown Ds and unknown forces corresponding to known displacements, okay? So we're going to partition this first horizontally. So we're going to come across like that and like that, right? So this is what we call the Q knowns. We know those Qs. So this is Q known, right? This component is Q known. This component is Q unknown. We don't know what those Qs are. So we have Q known and Q unknown. Now, same with the displacements over here. So let's just fill in those displacements. We have D unknown and these are D known. So D unknown and D known. So this becomes D unknown and D known. Right, so we can also partition this horizontally across there. Now, I want you to notice this thing. We're going to come and multiply this matrix out. That's how we solve this system. Watch what happens when we multiply this matrix by this matrix. What's going to happen is we're going to multiply this row, this first row, by this column. So we're going to have 1.035 times D1 minus 0 0.035 times D2 minus 0 0.035 times 0, time, that one times 0, that one times 0, and that one times 0. So essentially, everything here in this, so that point, that point, that point, and that point, we're just, are just going to become 0. And that's going to happen for every row we go down. Let's say we're on the fifth row. It's going to be that times D1, that times D2, this times 0, this times 0, this times 0, and this times 0. So essentially, this is all just 0. Okay, so you can see we're getting another partition down here, right, where all this is going to multiply to zero. You'll see